Hi, everybody, and welcome back to Cats Track. We post an interview with an amazing Canadian each weekday for your daily inspiration. Today, I would like to introduce you to my friend, Venetia Briel. Venetia was born in Kamloops, BC, and she tells me that her loved ones are her whole world and are the greatest people that she's ever had the privilege of knowing. So nice. They're truly amazing humans, and being their mom has been Venetia's greatest honor and gift that she's ever been given. Besides her loved ones, Venetia tells me that she's most passionate about people, and that is obvious, especially people that don't have a voice, that feel hopeless, non-existent, and that they don't believe that they matter. Those are Venetia's people, and she wants to reach as many people as possible until the day she dies. Friends, you will find her bio attached. Venetia, thank you so much for joining us today. Oh, thank you so much, Catherine. I was so excited when you... Um, messaged in LinkedIn there and and uh, asked if I'd be willing to do this. I was like, yes! Ah, <laughs> well, you. I'm honoured. Yeah. I'm really glad you accepted. Oh, I, yeah. It's an honour for me, honestly. It means a lot. Thank you for having me on. Oh, yeah. I love it. I'm looking forward to hearing what you have to say. Are you ready for the questions I sent you? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Yeah. So the greatest challenge that you've had in the last few months? Um... I would say, well, maybe like most people, just being, just the, um, the isolation and stuff like that, just the, the restrict, the restrictions, all of the restrictions. Um, honestly, probably what's bothered me the most is just the impact that it's had on us as a community and the people that we work with through Terminator. Um, that has probably been my greatest challenge and, and just what's bothered me the most about, about it. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. A lot of those stories right now. Yeah. It's heartbreaking actually. Like, and there's just more and more and more coming. Like even just the other day I was talking to someone and they were saying how they do some work with the, the vets and, um, they, there was six suicides. Uh, just because of loss of jobs and just the isolation, like just that kind of um, hopelessness, the heaviness of that is, that's, that's devastating to me that people are experiencing that right now. And so that's mostly where, just where my head goes with all of this stuff. So, yeah. Oh, I love your head and your heart. <laughs> thank you thank you how about the three things that you'd like to share with the audience today uh probably I guess you know what's kind of sort of front and center for me right now is um really trying to raise awareness um around uh youth addiction awareness support for families Honestly, probably like my three things right now is just like people, people, people. It, it's just, especially because of what we're dealing with and, and the pressure um, that COVID has placed on all of us, you know, it, it almost seems like it doesn't matter, you know, where, say, your status was before this happened. It's it's just added so much pressure. It doesn't matter where we look, there's been added pressure. And, and so it really is, it's just really about trying to reach people and help people ho however I can. If that's through Terminator, it's, if that's through the run coming up, if that's just someone reaching out through one of you know our social platforms, I don't know what to do with my daughter. She's 17, she's not coming home. I think she's you know, I think she's doing drugs, like whatever that looks like, you know, or if it's just talking to my friend, like I was the other day, and he's sharing hit the loss that he's feeling having six, you know, friends that have just committed suicide, like, it's just, it's, it's everywhere, like, it's, it's hard to, um, I don't think we have to look very far to see the impact of this. It, it, it's in the workplace, it's in our frontline responders, like it's, it's really everywhere. And I, I think just for those of us that can um, 
be of service in whatever capacity. I think we owe it to the human race to be of service. So whatever that looks like, you know, we, I think we, like, it's hit me hard too, COVID, it, uh, you know, financially and otherwise like that, but I still have something to give, I think, you know, regardless of what I might be personally experiencing, I still, I have a few cans of soup, you know what I mean? Like, we still always have something to give, like, so whether that's my time, whether that's a phone call, whether that's a coffee, whether that's putting on the, the virtual run this weekend, like, whatever it is, just to connect, try to connect with people. So I don't know if that totally answered the questions, but yeah. Uh, for sure it does. My dad, when he was alive, um, he used to say, you know, if every human on the earth took care of all the humans in their vicinity, so not meaning, you know, if, if, if they've got, um, if they live in a small town, there's, they've got a hundred people in their network and they just love and care for those hundred. Imagine the world, how it would be so different if we yes. all participated in that way. I, yeah, that's, yeah, absolutely. That's exactly how, that's exactly how I feel. You know, it's, it's, um, I, I think our reach is, further than we realize, you know, and I think that we can, we do have the ability to reach more people than, than we think, especially with social media, you know? Yeah, that's so true. It's, it's yeah. easier to get our, our opinions out there or support in some way. That's mm -hmm. so true. You're right. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank yeah. you, Nisha. How about a legacy or a good news story or, um, what do you see next for yourself? Anything that you want to share in closing? Um, I, I guess, well, I mean, during COVID, we launched um, the Ordinary Courage podcast. And so I think, you know, between, between that and Terminator, like the Terminator Foundation, um, I just... I want to try to touch as many people as possible. Um, people that are feeling hopeless, helpless, uh, things like that. If, as far as legacy, like, oh, I, you know, even just trying to raise my own family and, and inspire anyone I can to inspire anyone they can, you know, and just to kind of really try to just be paying it forward and to help others to know that they can also pay it forward, like, and just keep paying it forward and pay it forward and pay it forward, pay it forward. Pay it forward. And because I, I know what it, like, I, I never, you know, growing up when I was a kid, I did not see myself where I am today. And I'm, and that's not to say like, I just didn't, I didn't see myself making it. I didn't see myself successful. I didn't, I didn't actually think I would make it, you know, just because of my childhood and what I had experienced and the trauma and things like that. And, and so I know what that feels like to be in that place. And so I think for, as far as legacy goes, it's just, those stories of people that feel like it's insurmountable. I'll never get through this. I'll never get past this. I guess the, the message or the, the legacy would just be that, you know, we're, we're, we're far more capable of overcoming obstacles than we realize. And, and that having the support of people, and that's why even what you're doing with this, right? Just reaching people and trying to get these messages out there for people are so important. And, and so just letting people know that they can overcome even all of this pressure with COVID and, you know, the, the mental pressure and everything that it's placed on people, we can't, we can get through this. We can get through this. And then, you know, after this crisis down the road, there could end up being something else. Maybe it's not a global pandemic. Maybe it's a personal hit to your family and your, your life, you know, 
and but just knowing that we can get through it I, I think I just really want people to know that and in everything I do in my life and in my work and, and even what's to come um, I just always want that message to be there that we're never too far gone and it's and it's never too bad what we've been through that we can't get through it and can't heal and overcome it so yeah I, I, I think that yeah thank you Venetia I can feel your pure heart <laughs> thank you Kathy. what yeah. is the run all about on this weekend maybe you want to share with everyone uh yeah the so the Terminator Foundation so it's the it's our it's actually our sixth annual run and so it's the Terminator run for youth addiction awareness and it's happening this Saturday at 10 o'clock. It's free and it's virtual. And so we really hope that we can really reach as many people as possible. Um, even if you're not personally, you know, in your family, maybe dealing with a youth or a young person that is struggling in this area, but maybe you know a family, maybe, maybe you have a, an employee or something that you know that they might be struggling. And it's all about, again, just, rallying around people and just supporting people so that it's already some of this stuff is already heavy enough as it is the, you know the more people we can have supporting uh the better just so people know that they're not alone and and so we yeah so you can register at terminatorfoundation.com takes like a minute to register and like i said it's free and so we just really hope to see as many people out there virtually uh as possible running with us so yeah that's awesome. Thank you so much for sharing that, Venetia. And thank Thanks. you for, for the words of wisdom and inspiration today. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, Catherine, for having me on here. Oh, thank you. Everybody, thank you so much for joining us on Cat's Track today with my dear friend, Venetia. Check out Terminator Foundation, all the great work that they're doing, and uh, go on the virtual run. Tell everybody about it. Enjoy your day. Like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Have a great day.